Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going back to the 1980s and we're going to be looking at some classic jujitsu footage. Now, today a lot of people have many complaints regarding jujitsu and particularly the gi. You have a lot of people complaining about the pulling guard and being very static and just overall being not as exciting as wrestling or no gi. So, uh, for example, a lot of people just complain about the lack of gripping and immediately pulling guard and being unrealistic. But today's fight, it's not going to be this way. It's going to be the fight between Hickson and Higgin Machado. So, first, if we were to look at it, you see the stance and then here a brilliant takedown. So, first, let's talk about the stance. It's not so much a judo stance nor a wrestling stance. It's somewhere uh, in the middle, you have uh, bent knees and also a back that's not fully bent over like a wrestler, but not straight up like a judoka. So let's talk a little bit about um, what is called the jigo tai or a self-defense stance. So this is from the 1913 Tiger Scrolls and he's explaining that it is a low stance and also with bent knees. Uh, but you keep somewhat of a straight back because you want to attack and also you don't want to be pulled to the ground very quickly and at the same time you can get underneath your opponent very quickly with sacrificing techniques so for example here in the nage no kata they explain that this is a jujitsu grip and jujitsu stance when i'm talking about jujitsu i mean old japanese jujitsu so you have the Jigotai, which is the self-defense stance, it is low, it is not the Shizen Hontai or the natural stance that you see uh, judo competitors use today, but here it is a low one and it is used for a defensive posture, but at the same time always ready to attack. It's not a bent over person uh, or a desperate person that's just gonna turtle. So. Now, he follows it up with this uh, grip, so, so he goes around the back and Hegan immediately scoops up the leg and plants him down, absolutely brilliant. So the first thing that we have is grip fighting and powerful uh, throwing with amplitude. This throw is called Sukuinage or a scooping throw, you can get it from many uh, opportunities so as they attack with their leg because if you see Hickson try to hook his leg but then he caught it and scooped up uh, let's take a look at a competition example you can go here and absolutely blast someone with this throw it can be also like a double leg with a big pickup it's not necessarily just one leg so here Hickson tries to turn over from the pin and then keeps his frame up and defense um, he again here is trying to go on the mount but Hickson rolls over and turtles but it's not a defensive turtle in turtle you can always be on the offensive but it's a great way to protect you once your guard is passed so he's gripping on the leg if you notice and here he's trying to reverse like a fireman scary but off the ground and Hegan is trying to strangle so but eventually Hickson rolls over and gets on top. So let's take a look at it again. He's spinning the ankle and Hickson is gripping the leg. So he's in turtle, but he's looking for the offense. And that's something I really appreciate. It's to use the turtle, but for offensive uh, goals and not so much to wait for the referee to reset the fight like in judo we have today. So here he reverses him with a low fireman's carry and then gets on top into north-south. But Hegan was, if you saw, he, he was actually trying to strangle. Very similar here, but he did not have the strangle on the neck fully uh, tight and also gripping the pants and trying to roll to the side, but he was unsuccessful. Hickson defended it brilliantly. Let's take a look at another example here and rolls to the side, gripping the leg. Very similar to what he was trying to do, but again, Hickson was a step ahead. So let's continue. 
uh, Hickson here is in North South or uh, Kami Shiho Gatame in Japanese terminology and gripping here the pants. Now he turns over, goes a bit to the side and now goes for a classical uh, guard pass as Hegan is trying to recover. But then Hegan here pulls a brilliant uh, scissor sweep from this very uncomfortable position. It was absolutely brilliant. So notice how this fight is constantly on the move. It's very dynamic. It is not static nor passive. Again, here Hickson is from the turtle, gripping the leg, looking to turn him over and turns him over brilliantly. Let's take a look at it again. So he's gripping the leg. And then here he pulls him towards him to like a shin to shin, I, I believe they call it, and kicks over with Sumigaishi, roll over, and then gets into side control. So again, this is what I'm talking about, is when you're in turtle, so let's say someone passed your guard, so you turn over to do, not give them the pin or whatever it may be, Always think of offense. You can grab the leg and reap them like a double leg, like a fireman's carry, or here you can roll over. Uh, you can do so much from the turtle position if you know how to use it properly. It's not always to stall and uh, for defense and to reset the fight like they do in judo. So it can be a brilliant uh, position. We always find ourselves in it, but you should know how to use it just like the guard. So here, Hickson. What he's trying to do is uh, put one of his uh, knees on the hip so he can go into a mount position. It's not so much like what they do today, which is uh, go with knee on belly and then mount from side control, but uh, it's a classical transition. And let's take a look at it here from old Kotogan, Kodokan footage. So um, this is where he was. So. He was on the side, he puts his knee close to the hip, but the other leg he uses it to cross over. So he pins the hips with one of his knees so he can open up his hips and go into a mounting position. So again, classical elements of judo. It's very dynamic. Uh, there's no stalling and the fight is constantly on the move. There is good stand up at the same time. Uh, there's scramble on the ground and it is great. Now, this is something that I really like. Now, here you see a classical Gracie guard pass with over under and then going to the side, overwhelming, stacking them. So uh, it's uh, here you see you lift up the legs and the hips and then you really uh, transfer your weight down and around in order to get across, collapsing the legs their last line of defense and then passing eventually the guard. So again, classical elements of judo. Here you see Oda performing the same pass underneath the leg while the other one is blocking to prevent the triangle choke and then collapses to the side and gets into a dominant position. And finally, it was Hickson who was the victor and again, this is a classic fight. I love it. It's dynamic. There is takedowns. There's grip fighting. There's no passive uh, positions on the ground like De La Hiva versus Hoyler. It's great. This is the judo that I like or the classical jujitsu that I like. And it is great for self-defense because you're constantly on the move, constantly looking for the better position and you can do proper takedowns. So if you have anything to add, let me know down below. This was Shady, and thank you for listening.